Welcome to Nightline for Monday, October 26, 2020. I'm Daniel Marina Brito with school news and announcements for Jose Marti Mass 6 to 12 Academy. We will begin with our local weather report. Here's Mario. I am Mario Dominguez with your Nightline weather. It is 80 degrees with 86% humidity with only party cloudy skies as we begin the day. Scattered thunderstorms are likely this afternoon, especially after 3 p.m. while South Florida is still under flood advisory. The National Weather Service advises that periods of heavy rainfall are possible through this evening, along with additional rain accumulations of 1 to 3 inches, with isolated, hairy, uh, with isolated higher amounts possible. The highest temperature today is projected to be a 84 with an overnight low of 79. Those highs are expected to hold through the end of the week along with winds blowing from the east to 10 to 15 miles per hour. The weather that has spoiled the last few days may finally be ending with partly cloudy skies expected starting on Tuesday. And the Weather Channel reports that Tropical Storm Seta is expected to strengthen into a hurricane as it heads for a strike on Mexico, Yucatan's Peninsula and the northern U.S. Gulf Coast. Where it's likely to bring heavy rainfall, strong winds, and a storm surge, Seta is centered in the Northwest Caribbean right now and is moving northwestward towards Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. Maximum sustained winds have increased to 70 miles per hour as of early Monday morning. That's all for your nightline weather. Back to Thank you. you, Mario. The Gulf Coast has really seen a lot of action this hurricane season. Hopefully, this won't be another strong storm for them. Students interested in participating in the Geography Bee will have their first meeting tomorrow afternoon. Join the Remind group at Mast B to get more information and the meeting link. The Interact Club, a high school community service club, will be meeting this Thursday, October 29th at 3.30 p.m. Please contact Ms. Perez for more information or join the Teams Club by joining with the code Z7VUI9F. As part of Hispanic Heritage Month, we will be bringing you a profile of a prominent Hispanic person each day. Here is Eladenia to tell us more about Ellen Ochoa. Dr. Ellen Ochoa, a veteran astronaut, was the 11th director of the Johnson Space Center. She was born on May 10, 1958 in Los Angeles, California. Her paternal grandparents immigrated from Sonora, Mexico to Arizona and later to California where her father was born. She then became Johnson Space Center's first Hispanic director and its second female director. Ochoa joined NASA in 1988 as a research engineer at Ames Research Center and moved to Johnson Space Center in 1990 when she was selected as an astronaut. She became the first Hispanic woman to go to space when she served on the nine-day SCS-56 mission aboard the Space Shuttle Discovery in 1993. She has flown in space four times, including STS-66, STS-96, and STS-110, logging nearly 1,000 hours in orbit. As a research engineer at Sandia National Laboratories and NASA Ames Research Center, Ochoa investigated optical systems for performing information processing. She is a co-inventor of three patents and author of several technical papers. Ochoa has been recognized with NASA's highest award, the Distinguished Service Medal and the Presidential Distinguished Rank Award for senior executives in the federal government. She has received many other awards and especially honored to have six schools named for her. She was then married to Cole Miles, an intellectual property attorney, and together they have two Thank sons. Thank you, Aladania. The Key Club will host its kickoff party on October 28th at 3.30 p.m. on Zoom. Join the party to get to know the Key Club officers, play fun games, and do a scavenger hunt. Everyone is welcome to learn more about the Key Club. Use the remind code at MASTKEY to connect with the Key Club. Want to get more community service? Helping other students with their math homework? Want to join a club with other math-loving students? Maybe even participate in math competitions? Moo Alpha Theta meets every first Wednesday of the month starting at 3.30 p.m. Join the Remind group at Toasty Math to receive a link to the Zoom meeting. Ever wonder what's going on in the world? Here is Nicole with today's Planet Report. I'm Nicole Biagioni with Planet Report. 
CNN Business is reporting that short-form video app QB, the app that staked its future on short videos, is shutting down after just six months. The company, which struggled after launching the, during the pandemic, claims it has exhausted all options. Following an assessment of other strategic options, QB's board decided to shutter the company and return the remaining cash to investors, and it plans to seek one or more buyers for its assets. The mobile-only streaming service was launched in April by Jeffrey Katzenberg, a Hollywood veteran, and Meg Whiteman, a Silicon Valley powerhouse. It offered mobile videos and series cut into bite-sized segments shorter than 10 minutes. Unlike short-form videos from YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, QB's pitch to consumers was that it offered contact with big production budgets similar to the major series. It raised nearly $2 billion in funding from investors including Disney and Alibaba, and courted top talent like Steven Spielberg and Jennifer Lopez. Despite a rise in demand for other streaming services, QB never found an audience. The app struggled with mediocre content reviews and the departure of its head of brand and content marketing shortly after its launch. That's all for Nightline. Back to you. Thank you, Nicole. Students Working Against Tobacco, or SWAT, is on a mission to reduce tobacco use, expose manipulative marketing of tobacco, and empower youth to stand up against big tobacco. SWAT meetings are on the first Thursday of the month. Join them on Microsoft Teams with the join code below. The first dress down day of the year is coming a week from tomorrow. Students online and physical can dress down on Friday, October 30th. Come dressed in your best Halloween or fall attire. Be sure to follow MDCPS code and remember that no toy weapons are permitted. That's it for us today. I am Dania Marina Brito with Nightline. Thank you to Mario, Aladenia, and Nicole who contributed to our show. We'll see you next time.